This is Marcus K. Dowling with Nashville Country Music Report at the Tennessee, and I'm here at the Academy of Country Music Awards with uh, Noah Kahan. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing very well. How are you? I can't complain. I'm all right. So for you, I think that this is a cool moment happening where there are fans of country music, there are fans of pop music. I think they're having a moment together, and artists like yourself are really benefiting from that. If you could explain that to me. Yeah, I'm, I was very honored to be asked to perform here. I mean a huge fan of so many artists, including Kelsey, who I really admire, and, uh, and I'm just excited to get a chance to be on the stage and, um, yeah, hopefully watch some people get amazing awards and uh, hope we'll have a good time and hang out with some buddies. It's going to be a fun time. Absolutely. So talk to me about the songwriting community and just like your, I think, benefit to it. I think there's a lot of writers in Nashville and beyond that are really benefiting from like Stick Season and other songs right now. It is the most tremendous honor to have had any, if there is any, uh, impact for my music on young songwriters. I mean, I was a young songwriter not too long ago, and, and uh, the artists that inspired me were literally like gods to me, and I looked up to them so much and just tried to be like them and tried to be as creative as they were and try to take what they were giving the music world and make it my own somehow. And uh, to do that for any young artist is a dream of mine and an honor, and um, I, I think it's always a good thing when we get inspired by artists that are having a moment uh, and try to make a moment of our own. Um, I'm excited to hear the music that comes from this era and the same way that I grew up listening to Bob Dylan and then Lumineers and Bon Iver and, and, and it was inspired by them and I hope that uh, I can do that for somebody else someday. Exactly. So final question, just talk to me about the fact that both of those generations, you talked about the Bon Iver, you talked about like Sergio, people like that and yourself are having this moment together and just the, the, the wealth of music that exists right now that, you know, just I think it's really emotive and mm -hmm. speaking deeply to people. It's crazy, like on a Friday, you go on Spotify and like there's like 10 brand new songs that dropped and they're all incredible. They're all by the biggest artists. We have so many amazing artists releasing albums this year. It feels like we're very spoiled this year for uh, great music. Um, it's a special time. And I think it's, it's really cool that it doesn't feel competitive and it doesn't feel um, like people are trying to stand on other shoulders. It just feels like everyone is making great music uh, for their fans, for themselves. And uh, what's been really cool for me has been collaborating with, with big artists. I think you know, in the folk, pop, country, whatever space, um, it's always really fun to see two big artists collaborate with each other. And I've gotten to work with artists that I have been a fan of for years um, and have released eight or nine songs that are all collaborations. And that's been a really special privilege. And uh, I think collaboration and community is so important in songwriting. It's a can be a lonely business and a lonely uh, endeavor. And the more we can use each other and, and balance off of each other, the better off the industry will be. Absolutely. It's been Marcus K. Dowling, the Nashville Country Music Report of the Tennessee, and here at the 59th Academy of Country Music Awards. Thank you. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Appreciate your time.